This is Michael Saltzman, and I'm the director of digital products at Blue Sky Bio. I wanted to make this video to explain a bit how implants correlate to surgical guide kits and how the menus are connected to each other and what a custom surgical guide kit is. So just as a general overview, when we integrate an implant system into Blue Sky Plan, we ask the companies to give us the relevant information to integrate the implants and to integrate the guided surgical kit so that everything works together. And when you create a drilling report, all the information is populated automatically and the parts panel as well shows the relevant information. Some companies give us all the relevant information together with the surgical guide data, which is great, and sometimes a company chooses to integrate their implant system. It doesn't necessarily give us the guided surgical kit information. In such a situation, or in most situations as well, we offer the Blue Sky Bio kits as a universal guided surgical kit option. And then after creating an osteotomy, the user could remove the surgical guide and use the manufacturer's appropriate drill to finalize the shape and size of the osteotomy. So if I go ahead and load a new data set into our surgical guides module, Okay, so now we have a DICOM set imported. I'm gonna close this and click continue to implant planning. At this point of time, if I go ahead and click on my implant list, obviously I have no implants placed and my drill kit is not populated with anything. Now if I click, I have all the options of all different surgical kits. I haven't placed any implants, so there's no reason to limit the list from the drill kit. So now I have two options of either selecting the implant or selecting the drill kit. Generally, the recommended approach is go ahead and click on the relevant implant, select the relevant implant, and, and place the relevant implant. Now, once you do so, the, the drill kit options change. Now, the drill kit options are only going to show you drill kits that are compatible with the implant that you've already placed. If I go ahead and delete this implant, then I have my full list again because I'm no longer limited by the implant that I placed. So if you haven't placed any implants and you haven't selected any drill kit, then when you go ahead and click add implants, you have the full list of implants and you're not limited by any previous selection. So if I would go ahead and select a particular system, I could see all of the implant systems and all of the implants that they have in the case. If I would go ahead and select an implant, and just randomly now dropping it in, now I am limited to the relevant drill kits. If there are no relevant drill kits in the software for this implant, then the option will go to custom kit automatically. So now let's discuss what custom kit really is. Right now I'm operating in the normal mode, which means that the software could be used or should be used without the user having to do any sort of calculations or having to know any of the offset or guide hole diameter or anything. The software is providing all of that information. But you are able to switch to advanced. And here you have, here you have more fields. Now, what custom allows you to do is for a particular implant that you've placed, it allows you to change and to customize any of the fields, including the field for the guide tube, which has the guide hole diameter, height, and offset, and you could customize it. Now, next time, so let's say we go ahead and change this to 5.4 for the guide hole diameter. For this implant that we have, 901480. So now what I expect is if I delete this implant and then place it again, the guide hole diameter, instead of being what it was previously a 5.3, is going to be 5.4 since I've selected the custom kit option. So I'm going to delete this, place the same implant again, 901480, 
and I have the guide hole diameter being 5.4. Now I could do this for as many implants as I like. For every implant, I could customize the setting, and as long as I have custom kit selected, the next time I place the implant, it will once again open the custom settings. Now, why is this useful? So one reason this is useful is for exactly this situation where we don't have the correct guided surgical kit information associated with this implant. So if you have information and you enter it once, then the software will remember it for you. Another useful application could be if you are using an implant system that's not yet in the software, even though you should tell the company that they should be in touch with us and we'll integrate and add their system at no cost, they just have to provide the relevant data. But if you are using such a system, then what you could do is you could select an implant from the list of another company that has the same dimensions, place that implant, and then customize the settings to work with the surgical kit of the company that you have. The software will save that information, and then every time you place implants from that fictitious company, let's call it, you'll have the settings in the software saved and remembered. So I hope this provided some clarification. And if anybody has any issues with this functionality or questions, then you can go ahead and post it below or contact us. Always plan at bluesguidebio.com.